Hey guys, um, so today we're having a look at the Nomad travel mug from Nespresso, the new travel mugs that are out. Um, I've got the medium version here, I've been using it for a few days now, we're going to tell you what we think, but first of all we'll just run through a few of the specifications. Now they do three sizes of mugs, they do a small, a medium and a large. The small one is a green, more of a green colour, um, it is 300 millilitres uh, in capacity, um, the medium one, which is the one we've got here, that one's 400 millimetres and it's 85 millimetres wide and 145 millimetres high. Um, and then the large one is good for auto travel mugs, because, for auto um, coffee, sorry, because it's 540 millilitres. It's 85 wide again, but it's 185 millimetres high. They're all dishwasher safe, but because they're a bit of a plastic outer and also a rubber base on the bottom, Made in China, it says on there, by the way. Um, because of that, you can't put them in the oven, a microwave, a freezer, or on hot plates, because it will ruin them. So, like I said, I've been using this for a few days now. Um, and what do we think about it? Well, when I first got it, I opened it up and I thought, oh, that's nice, because you get something new and you, you think, you know, it's exciting, isn't it? But actually, after a few days of using it... Um, there's some good points and some bad points. Now, the, we'll start with the good. And I think the good is that compared to, say, like the old virtual travel mug, um, which we can see there, I'm going to do a video possibly where I compare it to the touch travel mug and this one. But basically, this one's got a metal outer and this one's plastic. And while that's good, because you, this one doesn't get cold when you're out on a cold day and it's in your hand and these metal ones can tend to get cold, it has disadvantages to it as well. Um, the feel of it, I prefer the feel of the metal, I feel it's a bit, I can grip it a little bit better. Um, I tend to sort of be swiveling round to this middle bit here to grip it a little bit better and I do worry a little bit that this branding might wear away. To be fair, on my Arachino 4 the branding's still there and we've cleaned that loads of times so perhaps that won't happen but I thought I'd best mention it just in case it does happen after a few months and you might not be very happy with that. Like I said, this is the only colour that the medium one comes in. The large one comes in black. The small one comes in green, and that's it, that's all you can get. So that's a bit of an issue if you want this colour, but you want the small version because you find this too big, that might be an issue for you. One of the main selling points on it is this lid here, the way it sort of clips down, um, clips back up again. Now, that mechanism is quite a stiff mechanism you have to you have to really be able to push it down and the, the as you can see i've got big hands and my the mug is quite big in fact i'll be honest with you that's one of the negatives to it i felt like it was i was carrying a brick around it's big and it's heavy and when you're trying to sort of push that down with one hand and hold it as you can see because it's quite deep and set in i'm struggling and I'm, i've got big hands you know i'm really struggling so it's, it's good if it's on a surface and you've got it at a desk perhaps, but even then it's, it's not that easy to use. And also, when the lid is on like that, I tipped it around with water in, nothing came out. But as soon as you touch that, literally as soon as you touch it, it starts to let coffee out. So I suppose, I mean, if you could get in the habit of being able to drink it by just gently pressing it and then drinking your coffee, um, then that might work. But... It's just, I would prefer it to be set a little bit higher so you didn't have to get so deep into it. But if you think, if you've got um, a bag and you're taking it to sort of uh, play sports or do whatever, and you've got it in a bag with, with other things, if it gently presses on it to any extent, coffee might come out. So that's, personally, I like the idea of that mechanism, but I prefer the lid on the original travel mugs just because it, it was a bit neater. And while we're talking about neatness as well, because you're drinking coffee out of the whole surround, it doesn't just come out of one area. Like the old one, you remember, it came out just at one side. Well, this one, you can literally spin it and drink from any angle. But it does tend to get this area messy here with coffee um, that dries on as you're walking around. And it, do it doesn't look great, to be honest. Um, and whether you're bothered about that, whether you're bothered at other people looking at your mug thinking, why is it, you know, it's a bit messy and dirty. Um, it's not ideal. My wife tried to do it, she's got small, she's a lot smaller than I am, um, and you tried to do it with one hand, didn't you? How did you feel? It's completely impossible for me to do it with one hand. I just, to be honest, I don't, I don't think my thumb can even reach down far enough to get a bit of a, a strong enough push on it. 
and because it is so wide i just can't grip it properly it's definitely the medium isn't designed for for people with small hands it's like you even feel like it's big and you've got big hands haven't you yeah um so that's definitely something to bear in mind maybe the small one would be a different a different ball game but for me this is just not usable because it's just too big it's not a color that i would necessarily choose i think it looks nice and neat but i do when i saw the coffee drips on the inside i thought it doesn't really look very appealing and how stiff that mechanism is it's just not really for me I ideally think... you need two hands to hold it don't you you do ideally yeah but the main thing for me as well is is the weight of it i think when i'm when i'm walking around and i'm walking the dog and i've got it in one hand it really does feel you can see it's like carrying a brick around so perhaps the smaller one would have been better um but then i'm stuck with the color in green and i think that's the the problem really is that if you're going to go down this plastic route like perhaps like the creatista plus machines they have like the nespresso machines they have a plastic outer but you can pick your color and i think that would have been better really if you had an option of colors in each size that you could pick but as it as it stands at the minute you're stuck with one color for each size black for the biggest this sort of bluey color for the middle um at the medium size and the small one uh, is the green now the good another positive for it though is fingerprints you know because it's not metal it doesn't tend to show fingerprints as much it kept the coffee um warm by the way double shot of espresso and milk from the erichino 4 it stayed at a warm a temperature that was warm enough to drink for about an hour and a half. And that was on a cold day outside walking the dog. Just to show you quickly as well, the inside of the cup or the mug, um, it's obviously, like I said, I'm hoping it's double walled stainless steel. It's got a maximum line there just to show you where to pour your coffee up to a maximum. And the lid, that's sort of the mechanism, how it works inside. Does the lid from the other travel mugs, like say the Touch or the Virtual, will that fit onto this? And sadly, because of the depth, I think, a lot of it to do with, it's just not the same look. So it doesn't quite go on correctly. Well, that one doesn't go on at all. And this one doesn't seal inside the uh, tr Virtual Travel Mug. So if you're thinking you might like this lid on your other Virtual Travel Mug, and you, or you might like this lid on the new Travel Mug, it's not gonna happen, I'm afraid. You're stuck with what you've got. That's our opinion on it, really. I, I, I prefer the older ones, I'm going to be honest, I just prefer the other mugs, um, I, could, I like the idea, I just think that's too deep for me to really be faffing on, you know, I've got big hands and look, I can't get my thumb above it, so that's why I really, I end up holding it against my body and then pushing down, which just isn't ideal, and I do think that if you were to put that in a bag, even with it being quite deep, it may, it literally is, is as soon as you touch it, liquid starts coming out, so that could be an issue, however, I didn't try it in a bag to be fair, but I'm just pointing out possible things that might go wrong. Um, but I think that the idea is nice to have that touch lid and to be able to drink from every angle, um, but it's just too heavy for me. Um, perhaps a smaller size would have been better, but it's still gonna be heavy. It's still gonna be the same design, just in a smaller format. Let us know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you found the video useful, please give it a like, and subscribe to the channel, uh, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos, um, and bye for now.